The suggested technique for ultrasound guided distal glossopharyngeal nerve block would require visualization of the pharyngeal wall. That starts by visualizing the hyoid bone, then rotating the ultrasound probe laterally and cephalad to visualize the structures in the submandibular fossa, including the submandibular salivary gland, the two muscle layers with the facial vessels in between, and the pharyngeal wall. Adding color Doppler allows us to visualize the turbulence artifact from the tissue-air interface of the pharyngeal wall as well as the signal from the facial artery and vein. Depositing small amounts of local anesthetics uh, just superficial to the pharyngeal wall will block the distal glossopharyngeal nerve. 